Hi guys, welcome back to my messy apartment and welcome to the fourth episode of Customizing Dice. This is the final episode of Customizing Dice before the big giveaway that I intended to make because I reached 300 followers on Instagram and uh, 100 subscribers on YouTube. The number is getting bigger by day and I wish to give something back to you guys. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go to my table and start doing the crazy shenanigans that I always do with the dice. So here they are, the final dice. For a while there, I didn't know what to do with them, how to paint them, how to mod them. But then I started playing a bard in my friend's campaign and I realized that they actually remind me of a bard because how I usually pictured bards is in basically colorful clothing. So I realized that I just might do something like that with these dice, make the bards dice. Bards are both an arcane class and entertainers and the faces of the group mostly and skill monkeys. And I was thinking on how to incorporate all that into a single set of dice. So I am gonna make these dice look like bards clothing, at least in my mind. And what I want to do is paint the numbers green. The number 20, I'm going to paint it purple because that's mostly how mysticism and magic is usually depicted. As for the number one, I'll see yet. And because this pattern here reminds me of silk, I'm going to leave the yellow color silky as it is, and I'm going to sand the purple to look like velvet. So it's gonna be a bard dressed in silk and velvet with some green highlights and purple 20 for the magical crits. I'm also gonna use my rotary tool and drill some little holes around 20 and paint them gold in order to look like gold coins, which would be Bard's reward. And I think that that's actually how I'm gonna name these dice. Now, because you know most of the techniques that I use for customizing dice, I'm just gonna fast forward this and place some music on top of it and I'll be back with the final reveal.
final reveal. <laughs> Somehow I always feel like laughing when I say that. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm quite happy with how they turned out. This yellow remains silky and this purple, it's still shows the glitter from beneath but it is velvety soft touch and a 20. if you didn't just skip to the final reveal you might have noticed that i had a little bit of struggle with these gold coins here uh, it's because um, i didn't stir the gold all that well and well uh, they first turned out a little bit pale then i wanted to do something else and then i finally stirred the gold good and they ended up looking like this which is quite fine if you ask me for the number one, I decided to go with black because anything else just simply looked like, I don't know, a smudge. This on the other hand looks like a void. So this gold coins here around uh, the purple 20 that should represent, as I said, uh, the mystical magical powers as they're usually represented in violet and purple colors. They're like Bard's reward, as I said, and I think that that's how I'm gonna name these dice. Um, some of the dice like this one didn't have all that much violet, so I just sanded a little bit here and there and this one as well. To tell you the truth, I actually like <laughs> this D4 the best. It's, it's very nice. It has just enough orange to show the silk and enough purple to uh, show uh, this velvety look. As for the rest of them, they're just alright, I guess. This was the final reveal before the big giveaway, so stay tuned. If you like what I did, I would of course appreciate a thumbs up and you could subscribe to this channel if you're watching my videos for the first time. There is also my Patreon page if you feel like backing me up, I would really appreciate that and my Instagram and Facebook pages if you want to follow me there. As always, this is Crafty, and until the next time, take care, guys.